right what is going on welcome to the channel all right quick video for you guys here today a little fsd beta action um we're in a semi construction zone actually we're going over 495 over here looks like there's a ton of traffic glad to actually not be stuck on it but yeah here we go we're um we are on lewinsville road uh here in like the mclean great falls tyson's area and fsd is driving so i just want to show you a quick glimpse of how it's going um pretty boring if you ask me uh it gets a little boring after a while because you know it's kind of boring not to drive but then again i do want to show you all the capabilities of fsd and how it's doing so it, it sometimes it does get boring to drive and that's the perfect time to, to pop it on um you know and and that's kind of like a personal thing it depends on what you prefer when i'm stuck in traffic or i'm like kind of chilling scenic route i definitely like the tesla to drive for me as you can see it did a really good job about making that left staying on the road uh but when i do have the open road in front of me i of course like to drive my car and uh that's the beauty of uh, tesla cars is they do operate like a regular car I hear a lot of people saying, oh no, I can never have a car drive for me. I need to be in control. Sure, I get it. Um, I, I feel the same way. Uh, and if you wanna be in control, all you gotta do is take over and then it drives like a regular car. But for those moments when you don't, um, that's kind of one of my goals here is to show you the capabilities of what FSD can do. Um, and it's kind of like a mix that you end up doing into your routine to see like how you how you use it but I'll tell you that I end up using it more than I don't uh, which is interesting because you know I've been driving for I don't know 12 to 15 years now something like that and it's it's enjoyable thing every day but at the same time it's not uh, so it's really nice to have FSD for those moments but you know it's nice to be able to of course be in control when you want to um, but as the time goes by updates keep coming along uh we are getting better and better each update is like five steps up and two steps back so at the beginning um i've, I've been in beta for a little over a year i got it like march 2022 so at the beginning like these updates were really big and um huge improvements as well as huge changes from the previous versions Whereas now it's gotten so good that it's kind of hard to make these like massive changes for every update. So each update coming in is going to be more like safety critical situations try to touch on and improve. But all in all, it's getting pretty good. You know, it's not perfect. As you can tell, um, I don't think I've taken over this whole drive yet. Uh, but there has been situations um if you're from the dmv area here we go it stopped in the middle of the um intersection there because it was like one of those cross intersections i couldn't tell that the red light was for me or, or not um and that's one of those situations where you got to take over and I, I didn't really have to fully take over all i did was kind of engage the accelerator to tell it to go um because it does get confused in, in situations it sees a red light it, it's not sure if it's for you, but it knows to stop at red lights, so it's gonna try to make that stop until you push it through. Uh, what I was saying for the locals, um, if you know that in Arlington, there's a, a exit for 395 off of 110, and that's if you're going 395 south, like towards Shirlington or uh, Woodbridge, Alexandria, and then basically it misses that exit every time. And I realized the only way, because I've taken it a bunch of times to test it, the only way it works is if I use my indicator and tell it to go on that side before it comes up, because it just misses the exit. So it's like, it's not perfect, but compared to like other cars and seeing the way that it handles like exits on highways, Tesla is way ahead. Because since the beginning uh, versions of FSD, they kind of sought out to perfect highway exits and being able to travel and map those out just as much as regular roads so it's not like a foreign area to the car when it's on like a 
off ramp it knows off ramps really well uh, and it, it like has its own set of rules for off ramps so again you know comparing it to the what it did in, on 395 it's not perfect but at the same time it, it's um it's good to know your routes and if you're if you're driving unfamiliar territory you know you gotta really be cautious all right so yeah i want to thank everyone for watching this Hopefully you enjoyed the video. Uh, let's see, we've got a little bit. Um, let's actually see what the car does here. So, yeah, we got a little bit extra to the video here. I want to um, try to see how it navigates this uh, construction area. This is kind of um, in the works right now. They're going to change this up. The light situation was completely different. So. Here we go with a great situation on seeing how FST handles this. All right, here we go. All right, so it looks like it's trying to figure it out. I'm gonna nudge it a little bit. And there I go, I'm done nudging. It figured it out right away. Really good job about that. Um, as you can see, not a foreign area uh, to the car at all. It was able to adapt and figure out the situation. And let's see how it does. Nice job with the merging. I mean, we were given our own lane here, kind of, so, yeah, um, make sure you hit that like button if you enjoyed this video, um, subscribe to the channel, Tesla DMV, we got more FSD beta videos, Tesla content updates coming your way, so, yeah, thanks again for watching, and hope you have a great rest of your day.